We are here at the Holiday Marketplace at Mud Puddle Pottery Studio, and I wanted to show you the work of Ronnie and Patty Thornton. They are here demonstrating today, and they have such beautiful pieces, and they specialize in leaves, which they collect and preserve, and they create these beautiful leaf forms and also Something really popular is how they do all the seasons on these mugs and serving pieces. Look at this beautiful leaf bowl. It is just gorgeous. So this is Ronnie and Patty Thornton. And I want to introduce you to Ronnie and Patty. They're here demonstrating today. So Ronnie and Patty are here demonstrating their leaf well, processes like with us. Well. And I want to, I would like you to tell me about how you collect your oh, leaves yeah. <laughs> and texture them and oh, your process yeah. and why you're so passionate about yeah. trees yeah, yeah, and leaves. Okay, we, uh, we collect the leaves from the trees in the summer, spring and summer. And depending, uh, depending on uh, if we use tiny leaves, uh, like for uh, the dogwood blooms, so we'll collect them very early in the spring so that um, we can get them while they're tiny and they can go on a mug or uh, a tree, uh, and we put them in the freezer and freeze them <laughs> because we can't get them all year round. Uh, like some of the leaves we can get, the hostas we can collect during the summer. All the leaves we usually collect during the summer and put them in the freezer. And that's how we can make uh, pottery all winter long. I love um, that. Well, so what, what connects you to um, the trees and the seasons that you do? Because I see it in a lot of your work that you're doing a lot of painting on your pieces. Well, Ronnie came up with the idea of, uh, of the leaf motif uh, in our pottery. So I'll let him explain that. <laughs> yes, I came up with the leaves. Uh, it was just a, uh, I don't know, she came home from Renaissance Center. She used to do the, uh, she started doing them at the Renaissance Center at Dixon uh, classes. And she came home and showed me what all they, they were doing. And I said, well, I said, have, have you ever thought about doing a leaf? And we had some oak leaf hydrangeas in the front yard. So she said no, but. We could try it, so we tried. We put, uh, we did a oak leaf hydrangea. She did a, actually, a flower pot out of oak leaf hydrangeas, and seemed to be a pretty good hit. So I said, well, let's try some other ones. So we said, well, let's try other ones. We tried hostas. We do, we just do different leaves. We do hostas. We do oak. We do umbrella magnolias. We do uh, ash. Uh, just different ones, like I say, and we press them in the clay, as you can see, and roll them out. And then, after we roll them out, I take them, we put them on a whatever, on a piece of board, and I form them. Just, just with my fingers, I just form them around, all the way around them, just different ways. We do different ways on them. And then, after I get them the way I want them, I just let let it dry for a little while, then I take the the leaf, or I can leave it in and let it burn out in the kiln. But I I pull it off, and that's how we get all the veins and all the detail in the leaves. Well, I know all your pieces are food safe, and you put. I know that a lot of the work goes into the glazing process and the firing process and cleaning them up, which is where most of your time is spent. And you also have some very delicate bowls that, that uh, are over there in platters that are just stunning. So I know that there are a lot of work. Can you tell me about that, of what people are using them for and serving in them? Uh, they use the, the hosta leaf bowls or the sycamore leaf bowls. They use them for fruit, they use them for a lot of people use them, the big leaves, the big sycamore leaves, they use those for uh, 
like a centerpiece on their dining room table. Salads. Yeah. Salads. Yeah. Uh, oh, isn't it great? Just whatever bread, yeah. different breads. Uh, they use them to just just different things, and uh, they are a lot of work goes into them. Yes, you're right. There's it a is. lot of work. And you were recently featured on Tennessee Crossroads. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. I, I yeah, thought that was a lot of it fun. Was, uh, I think it was January 20. 20, ah. 20 when we were featured well, the on Tennessee Crossroads and, and it was a uh, it was good it was good for right. business it helped business well we you mentioned uh, Renaissance Center but most of our classes were here yeah, with Sharon right. that's right well, but Bona Pottery that's where I did all mine yes. <laughs> that, that's who taught me how to I remember do pottery when we took classes y'all had classes down at our old shop that's right that was so fun yep. yes, yeah we yes. did yes very special I did uh, I don't know I did it for a few years and I still don't know a lot of stuff about pottery like Sharon does. Oh. So. <laughs> well, <laughs> you guys are doing a great job. You're selling a lot of stuff. And your bird feeders, you know, I love the bird feeders. They've been really popular, too. Yeah, I just, that's just a whim. Well, it, they're fantastic. Well, I know that all the folks here can come out and, and see your lovely work. We're, we're just tickled to death to carry Thornton Pottery here, and we have it year-round. And you can come get some of their pieces here for Christmas gifts. They're all 100% one-of-a-kind, unique. You'll never have another one just like it ever. They're all handcrafted one at a time. Here's this lovely bird feeder right here. It hangs up. And we appreciate y'all. Come check us out. Come pick up some of the Thornton's pottery here That's at the right. Holiday Marketplace. Come and buy some. That's right. Come and buy.